evaluate limit of square root of x minus 2 divided by x minus 4 where x approaches 4. Now let's substitute 4 and see what do we get. Square root of 4 minus 2 in the numerator and denominator is 4 minus 4. Square root of 4 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So we do get 0 over 0. So as you have seen in this playlist, most of the questions which we have selected, they are all indeterminate quotients where when we substitute the limiting value, we land up with 0 over 0. Now, so here x is not equal to 4. 4 is not in the domain of our function. However, the limit may exist, right? There could be a hole at x equals to 4 and while approaching from either side, we may approach a value. So that is the whole idea. Now, how to solve it? One thing is very clear, that we do have a factor x minus 4 in numerator as well as in denominator. Denominator, you can see. Numerator, we can factor and figure it out. Now, factoring is one option. Second, whenever there are square roots, then I'll prefer rationalization. So I will solve this problem with the help of rationalization. Okay? So this is another technique of solving indeterminate quotients, right? Rationalization. So that's what we will do. Now what is rationalization? It is to multiply the conjugate. It is rationalization is a process in which we multiply and divide by the conjugate of the term to be rationalized, right? Now here it is square root of x minus 2. The conjugate is square root of x plus 2. So we'll rationalize and simplify this expression. So let's rewrite this. It is limit x approaches 4 for square root of x minus 2 divided by x minus 4. And to rationalize, what we are going to do? We are going to multiply and divide by conjugate of numerator. So we are rationalizing numerator in this case. Square root of x plus 2 is the conjugate. Conjugate means just change this term from minus to plus and from minus plus to minus, right? And multiply and divide by the same term. So basically, you're multiplying by 1, right? And by doing so, you don't change the question. Now, how does it work? So when you have, remember this, a plus b times a minus b. What is this equal to? It is a square minus b square. Now in square root, if you square it, it becomes, it gets rid of the square root, right? So that is the whole idea. And this technique is very effective in solving any problem with square roots. So let's multiply the numerator and get rid of the square root. So we get limit x approaches 4 and in the numerator we get square root of x squared minus 2 square, correct? Which is x minus 4. In the denominator I will suggest never to multiply or expand, okay? Write denominator as such. So we'll write this as x minus 4 times square root of x plus 2, right? So as a precaution Never expand denominator. If you rationalize numerator. Let me write it like this. But if you rationalize denominator, then don't expand numerator. That's the rule, okay? Now, you can see we do have a factor x minus 4 in the numerator also. Now, that has been brought out with the help of rationalization. And now we can cancel this, simplify our expression, and find the limit. So, we get limit x approaches 4 and get 1 over square root of x plus 2. Now, you can substitute 4 here. Square root of 4 is 2. So, we get 1 over, let me write square root of 4 plus 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4, so 1 over 4 is our answer. So we get our answer and that is 1 over 4. 
I hope you understand and appreciate this technique. So remember, if you have square roots, in that case, rationalize the portion which has the square root, correct? If the square root is in numerator, rationalize numerator. If square root term is in denominator, rationalize denominator, right? And thereby, you can solve and get the limit. So this is a very effective technique. I hope you understand. We'll have a few more questions practicing with this technique. And then we'll have a small quiz for you. Thank you and all the best.